The Willamette River was once this braided channel. It was very shallow and it had a huge floodplain that is now developed and covered with buildings and streets and industry. By dredging the river and filling the lakes, filling the land so that there is no more island, we've really tried to redraw the Lower Willamette River so that it is not braided. We tried to take every braid out of it. For decades, industry utilized the Willamette River as its dumping ground. One EPA official described it as an unconfined disposal area. Portland thinks of itself as this great green city. We have a 10 mile, 11 mile long Superfund site running through the heart of our city. As you're traveling north towards St. Helen on the Highway 30, you're looking to your left and you're seeing this beautiful, bucolic, old growth forest, Forest Park. And you look to the right and it's doom. It's a huge, huge uh, sort of amassing of explosive, of toxic fuels and chemicals. The Willamette River was dug out 40 feet deep by the Corps of Engineers in order to make it navigable. The tank farms are railroad tracks, Highway 30. It's built on that sediment that was pulled out of the river. It's very susceptible to liquefaction. When you think about the possibilities of an earthquake happening there, or even just an accident, it brings about a lot of risk. We have 300 million gallons of flammable fuels right in the midst of our river that is a Superfund site and we want to clean up. But the minute we have an earthquake, the millions and millions of dollars that we may pay to clean up the Willamette River will be for nothing. I want a new vision for a very wounded piece of land. We can, years from now, look back and we will say yes. When I was young, this was full of tanks. The river was polluted and people will be saying, it's so nice now. But to do that, we are gonna ask Portland, Oregon, Multnomah County, and the Port of Portland to declare this a green working waterfront and make every piece of planning reflect that deep, deep commitment to our future.